terrifying events are taking place on the outskirts of our solar system. Compared to other systems, ours is relatively small. The vastness of the universe beyond our solar system is made abundantly clear by the detailed images captured by the new James Webb Space Telescope and by Voyager 1 and 2. The heliopause, the region where our solar system transitions into interstellar space, has undergone some terrifying changes in recent years. The search for extraterrestrial life has been fruitless, but this could quickly change. Space Rocks The discovery of a new extrasolar visitor has prompted a plethora of new questions among scientists. Before we meet our guest, let's take a look back at 2017 to get a sense of where we are now. There are unimaginably many rocks beyond the solar system, which itself contains trillions. However, scientists on Earth are using satellites, telescopes, and lasers to keep a close eye on these objects. Why? Because our findings about the space rocks could have far-reaching consequences. Therefore, it is crucial that we consider every option. No truly significant objects have ever entered our solar system despite scientists' best efforts. Good news is that we probably won't find anything, but bad news is that if we did, it would be very close to the solar system's edge. The speed of the object being moved must be sufficient to counteract the enormous force it will encounter, though. As a result, no one ever expected a rock from space to pass by Earth at such a close distance that we would be able to see it. Reaching out The heliopause marks where our solar system's atmosphere begins to mix with interstellar medium. Because of this, scientists have always been curious about the heliopause and its ever-evolving characteristics. However, recent observations suggest even more substantial heliopause changes than our current model allows for. Information from NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer captured the shifts. According to a report on Space.com about increasing levels of energetic neutral atoms, images taken by this satellite reveal asymmetry in the heliopause. Data from Voyager 1 and 2 showed that the heliopause had shifted. Between the times Voyager 1 and 2 entered interstellar space, the scientific community's understanding of the solar system's boundaries shifted dramatically. As a result of these unforeseen changes, it's possible that the two probes entered the void of space at significantly different times. Some of the heliopause shifts are called potentially controversial in the paper. In an effort to better understand these shifts, NASA's IMAP will keep conducting surveys of the solar system's rim. It will be necessary for scientists to make do with data from completed missions and ongoing spacecraft, like the Voyager probes, until then. To more accurately describe what Voyager 1 is, we must now call it an interstellar probe because it has left our solar system and is exploring the vastness of the universe. Two weeks after its sibling, Voyager 2, the probe was sent into space on September 5, 1977. It was expected to have traveled 14.6 billion miles away from Earth by August 2022. Thanks in large part to the efforts of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the Voyager 1 spacecraft can reach speeds of up to 38,000 miles per hour. No one could have understood the significance of the Voyager 1 probe when it was first launched 45 years ago. Everyone was surprised by how long the probe's mission lasted and it's still in touch with Earth. An alien visitor. The speed with which Oumuamua departed our solar system gave the impression that an alien spacecraft had recently visited our planet. Astronomers have listened twice as part of the SETI program for technological signals from the object out of pure curiosity for the possibility of extraterrestrial intelligence. Neither of the campaigns received a single response. Many scientists believe that Oumuamua was a fragile light sail, a method of propulsion using the sun's photons, but others, such as Avi Loeb and Shmuel Bialy of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, disagree. One of his main points is that it should have been obvious that the visitor's rotation period has changed due to outgassing. Loeb speculates that Oumuamua could either be a piece of space junk or an actual exploration ship sent to scout the area. Loeb argues that by not considering the possibility of aliens, we are missing out on fruitful hypothesis in the course of rational inquiry, but he claims to have received little support from the scientific community. He stressed the importance of remaining objective whenever possible in scientific research, 
when he first pitched the idea to Space.com. Scientists have been eager to find any more Oumuamua since the discovery of the first one. Yale astronomer Greg Laughlin has suggested that there could be a trillion Oumuamua in the universe. These findings strengthen the panspermium theory, which suggests that life could have spread throughout the galaxy on objects like Oumuamua. In all likelihood, the search for extrasolar planets and moons will take less time than we currently anticipate. While Chile's large synoptic survey telescope is activated at the start of the next decade, it will be able to conduct a more thorough survey of the night sky increasing the likelihood that more Oumuamua will be discovered. If another pencil-shaped object is discovered in the solar system in the coming year, Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb has requested that NASA send a probe to investigate. Multiple scientists have requested that NASA examine asteroids for evidence of alien technology. This enigmatic object, measuring 300 feet in diameter, was first spotted in our solar system in October of 2017. It was determined by the object's unusual trajectory that Oumuamua, as it was later named, likely came from another star system. Its unusual acceleration as it passed Earth has led some astronomers to speculate that Oumuamua was an alien interstellar probe. Even if you disagree with this, the fact remains that we can't learn the truth until we make first contact with an alien civilization. Scanning the Area In case another Oumuamua-like object is on its way, Scientists have recommended that NASA always keep a spaceship on standby. Astronomer Avi Loeb of Harvard University was among the first to suggest that Oumuamua was not from Earth. He speculates that the mysterious visitor is related to the rising number of UFO sightings reported by U.S. military personnel in recent years. In an article for Scientific American, he argued that the government would not have come clean about the existence of UAP if it had come from China or Russia out of security concerns. According to the United States Air Force, UFOs are better described by the term unidentified aerial phenomena than the more commonly unidentified flying objects. Some of these objects may have been deemed extraterrestrial by the United States government. UAP could have originated from another planet or been a naturally occurring phenomena on Earth. Both are equally plausible. There's always the chance that we'll pick up some useful information. Loeb's graduate student, Ami Siraj, proposed the current search for Oumuamua. He explained that if such a situation arose, NASA would need to act swiftly because it would be preferable for an interstellar object to appear a little bit unusual if a billion-dollar spacecraft were to go after it. It will take a few months to get there if the object is the same size as Oumuamua, but only a few weeks if it's ten times brighter. Perhaps there is no pressing need to rush into space. There might be an extraterrestrial human on Earth right now. The meteor explosion in the South Pacific in January 2014 has always been shrouded in mystery. It's possible that Dr. Loeb could find out where it crashed with the help of secret government tracking data and send a submarine to retrieve it. He found out it was made of very tough material and caught his eye. In his blog, he wrote that the object's survival after its initial impact with Earth's atmosphere showed it was tougher than previously believed. Much more so than stony meteorites and almost twice as hard as the hardest iron meteorites. Most asteroids in our solar system aren't made of stone, so they couldn't have been the first interstellar meteorite. In order to elaborate, he says similarities between Oumuamua and the 2014 meteorite have prompted speculation about whether or not we need to rethink our place in the universe. The scientific community is increasingly convinced that our efforts to map the seafloor near Papua New Guinea are emblematic of a broader initiative to expand our knowledge into the farthest corner of the universe. Are there aliens in space? Or are they already here on Earth? Tell us in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos like this. Videos like this.